show. Kurva, that still sounds like shit. Kurva, that still sounds like shit. Kurva, that still sounds like shit.
Kurwa, that still sounds like shit. Kurwa, that still sounds like shit.
still sounds like shit.
When you are triggered by someone or something, the trigger lies within you as well. If you spot it, you got it. Robert Edward Grant One of the hardest things to do in life is to take responsibility for your actions. We don't want to face the shadow self. We don't want to face our dark side and what we've done wrong. But in order to become the greatest version of yourself, you have to face the shadow self. The number one thing that I love to focus on is becoming self-aware. I love talking about consciousness. The number one thing that you can do in your life to better yourself in your life is become more self-aware. Understand oneself. Do you do things in your life because your parents did those things? Or do you do them because your grandparents used to do those same things? Or do you do them because somebody that you look up to does it? Find your own path. Ask yourself, why do you do the things that you do daily in your life? Do you do them because somebody told you to do it? Do you do it because other people do it? Do you do it because you love to do it? 
Why do you do what you do daily? The best foods to eat are live foods with live prana. Live pranic foods are best for the human being. Anything that's whole food, plant-based, anything that grows out of the ground is the best for you. Food is information. Food is energy. Depending on what information we put inside our body will determine our mood and how we feel. If we feel like shit all the time, guess what? You're putting bad information in your body. Food is information. In order to understand and know what foods are best for you, pay attention to how it makes you feel. If you feel good, if you feel abundant, if you feel full of energy, stick with those foods and take everything else out. Find your passion in life. Find what makes you move. Find what makes you get off of the couch. If you don't know, it's okay. Sit in your meditation and go inside. What do you love? What is your path? What are you best at? What are you excited about? That's what you're supposed to be doing. We're not supposed to be working 12 hours a day or more, going back to sleep, waking up, do it all over again. We fuck up. Sometimes we fuck up daily in life. Sometimes we fuck up multiple times in a day in life. But there is no instruction manual to life. So if you find a rut, pick yourself up, and dust yourself off and do it again. If you're not sure what you're supposed to be doing in life, go with what excites you in your gut, in your intuition. When you feel that excited feeling, that is your path. Check out Abraham Esther Hicks. What do you do in your life? You don't know what to do. You're depressed. You're lonely. You're sad. Do what you love. What do you love in your life? Do what your passion is. Do what you're excited to do in your gut. So they want you to work 8 to 12 hours a day, okay? How much do they want you to sleep? About 8 hours a day, okay? So there's about 20 hours. Then they want you to watch the Roman Circus when you come home, okay? So you got the baseball football game, right? The smallest individual unit on a television is a megapixel. The smallest individual unit in our reality is a pyramid. To this day, Many school teachers are still questioning the Mercadian map. Why is it that we are taught differently and false? The Mercadian map is not accurate. The reason everyone is insane, the reason there's so much depression in society, the reason for all of the lower frequency things in society is people are going against the laws of nature. God said man will suffer if he goes against the laws of nature. Why do you think everyone is suffering? If you go against the laws of nature, you will suffer. So you got the Roman circus, that's three hours burned on your baseball, football game, hockey game. So that's why the Romans created the Roman circus, so you don't practice on your divinity. So how much time do you have at the end of the day to focus on your divinity? So they want you to work 8 to 12 hours a day, okay? How much do they want you to sleep? About 8 hours a day, okay? So there's about 20 hours. Then they want you to watch the Roman circus when you come home, okay? So you got the baseball football game, right? When you start to understand and realize that the red race you're in is the cause of most of your problems and diseases and mental disorder, you're going to change your paradigm this day, many school teachers are still questioning the Mercadian map. Why is it that we are taught differently and false? The Mercadian map is not accurate. Nikola Tesla said three, six, and nine are very divine numbers. Things in life happen in these sort of patterns. Sacred geometry needs to be divisible by the number nine. If it's not divisible by nine, it will not have the correct correspondence. Why is it that we are forced to repeat things over and over again if the definition of insanity is to do the same thing?